if you could name three things that impair somebody's driving, what could they be? Tiredness. Yep. When you're fatigued. Um, if you was under the influence of alcohol, then maybe the night before. Maybe not necessarily when you're driving, yeah. but the night before. Um, drugs. Yep. Um, Anything else? That's just about it. Um, how about if you've got your friends in the car? Could, oh, that, could oh, yeah. that be a little bit of impairment? Yeah, if they're distracting you yeah. and, and talking to you. Yeah. And yeah, you, you haven't got your full 100% concentration on the road, have you? Okay. Okay. Which group are most likely to be involved in a collision relating to fatigue? Um, in your opinion? Age group? Yeah. Uh, the Between 20s and 30s, I'd say. Okay. Why do you think it's that? Uh, mainly because of the stuff that uh, people that age do. I mean, you can be out, going out on a night out with friends, or because we have been more, I'd say you're more active at that age. You're doing, you're trying, you, most people at that age do more things, so you could be working as well as going out, as well as maybe going to the gym or something like that. So therefore, uh, when it comes to driving, you, you could be quite tired. How about considering the fact that driving is a new task to people? Could that be an influence on making people impairment? Yeah, because I mean, you, you, you're not as experienced and also you, you have to think more about things, therefore your concentration levels must be higher. How do you know if you're tired? What are the early signs that you find? Well, for me, I think it's the same for everyone. You, you can be rubbing your eyes, um, I mean, you find yourself blinking more and your eyes feel a bit kind of like sore, you're tired, yep. um, yawning. Yeah. Um, just those general sort of, just those. Okay, and finding it difficult to concentrate, like we said previously. That yeah, your brain's not quite operating yeah. as it normally would. Okay. Just talk a little bit about impairments. What three things could you do to reduce or avoid succumbing to the effects of the fatigue? Well, for me, if, if I was tired and I knew I had yeah. to drive somewhere, um, I'd, I'd ensure that I've had like a coffee before I get hit the car and uh, that stuff like have the window yeah. down so you've got the air uh, keeping your... Okay, so, so, so they're like the emergency type things that normally happen as we're yeah. we driving along. You go for things just before we start to get into the car, what can we do to, to make that easier for ourselves? Think about like driving, what type time of day that we, we go out on a journey. Are you likely to feel more tight, more fatigued? Midday, seven o'clock in the evening, nine o'clock in the evening. I suppose you've got time of day. I suppose a bit of planning. Yeah. Um, if you, if you know you're going to be more tired at 9 o'clock, which you generally are going to be, yeah. because that's later on in the evening, uh, then you could try and better plan it to go possibly a bit earlier, or if you've got a, an open window for a yeah. couple of hours and not doing anything, maybe get a power nap in, or yeah, good. things like that. Yeah, good. So, good answers. We've mixed up the avoidance and the emergencies, but, but it's good that you've got the emergency things out, because you've mentioned have a coffee drink, open your window, have a power nap. Yeah. Um, is there any other thing that you could do if you found yourself really tired and it was safe to do? Is there anything um, else that we could do? Pull over somewhere. Yeah, good. Um, How yeah. long for? As, as long as you need, as long as it's safe enough. Yeah. Um, just pull over, get your bearings together and get your mind straight. Um, good. Whether or not you'd have a power nap in your car, I don't know. You possibly yeah. could do. Just rest your eyes for ten minutes and see how you feel. Okay. So all we're going to do now is I'm just going to take one example. Yeah. All right. So you said that you would have a power nap. Yeah. What would be the advantages of that? Just it's it's 
giving you your mind time to rest. Um, when you're having a, a power nap, it, yeah. it, it can be, it can, uh, I mean, for me anyway, just from previous experience, not through driving, but if I've, if I've been tired throughout the day and I've had like an hour nap, yeah. I've, I've woke up. Um, sometimes I've found that if I did it later, like nine o'clock at night, yeah. I can't sleep for the rest at night, so therefore it's, it's, it's proved that it's made me feel wide awake. Yeah, good. So, what disadvantage could that be? Have a power nap. Um, just like and when you first, I mean, even if you had a full sleep, just the same as a power nap. When you first wake up, I think you need that bit of time. If, if you just have a power nap, wake and then straight drive, I don't think yeah. that would be very good because you still, in you, you, you are, you, your mind's still waking up, even though you were awake. But you, and what could that? And that for, therefore, you could probably what make could it happen there. You could make it even worse for you, really. Could, good. Can you think of any further things that you can do just to try and prevent the fatigueness kicking in? In really, in anything that we've, we've spoken about. So could it be, if, again, if we go just for a different example, the time that we go, could we do things differently there? Go at a different time. Possibly. Yeah, so it, it's uh, so plan it better. Yeah. Yeah. So a lot really it's plan the journey. Yeah. Uh, there is a e learning module that'll look at this issue that should help you. Alright, uh, and then uh, so if you can just have a quick glance at that, see see how you go on. We'll just confirm what we've spoken about in that there. Um, finally, just on impairment, out of all the possible options you've given me, which option do you think would probably best work for you? Which one would distract me the most? No, which one, which would be the best option you think you could take to in order to try to avoid the fatigue? Which um, one do you think would be best for yourself? For me, um, probably planning. <laughs> 